Hello, Tubers! Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, and welcome to Cooper and Brooks live stream on Cooper's Thai Adventures. And if you like what we're doing on the channel and all the good stuff that we're showing you and the participation that we're bringing and making the live streams for you, please hit the thumbs up. Uh, it really does help the channel. And if you haven't subscribed yet, hit the subscribe button. It's absolutely free. It doesn't cost you a penny. We're currently over 13,100 subscribers. Let's help us get this channel up to 20,000. That'd be a huge, big boost for the channel. And um, we're going to start today off by, it's an open forum today. We're going to go over a little bit about what's happening in the Thai news. But other than that, it's uh, general questions uh, for those in the chat. So get those questions rolling and we'll get started with them. First, let's start out uh, that the time has changed uh, for the rest of the world, but not here in Thailand. So uh, the time is now uh, different. And uh, my wife just reported she's moderating in the Philippines and says the sound's coming through five by five. So uh, good sound there going on. Um, so... Okay, she just said that she did a little mistake on her end. Okay, gotcha, babe. So anyways, the time's changed for the rest of the world. Everybody's gone forward an hour. We're here in the Thailand because we're so close to the equator, the time doesn't change. And my wife is going off like, like uh, no before, uh, but it's off now. Is that the sound? Have we, you guys can hear us? Hang on. One second, folks. Let me just ask my wife. It's okay now. Okay, she's saying the sound is good. So there you go. And um, anyways, we haven't changed our live stream times because we still do it at the same time here in Thailand. You, uh, so congratulations to those 34 people that are online that remembered we're now an hour uh, later or earlier, is it, Brooke? Uh, later. An hour later. So yeah, there's the An hour later in the West. An hour later. Yeah, in the same West. time for us. Every oh, yeah. Time. Same time for us. Still early seven o'clock in the morning here. And um, let's get started with uh, some news that is happening here in Thailand. So uh, Thailand has announced that Songkran is going to be three weeks this year. Instead of the normal one week, it's going to be three weeks. Some areas uh, have designated days where they have the water festival and they throw water. Um, some areas don't. So waiting for that to come out in the news shortly, um, in Patia Jomtian area of when they're going to have the water festival. And then, you know, you're going to go outside and you're going to get wet or you're going to make other people wet, whichever one floats your boat. And it is a great time to be here in Thailand. So once that comes out in the news, uh, we'll be sure and update you. What else was in the news today? Uh, can you remember we just watched it 30 minutes ago hey <laughs> catch up that guy for recap. Got deported yes the guy got deported well done mr schneider paying attention <laughs> so the gentleman that uh kicked the girl um who happened to be a doctor i think she was oh really she was a doctor Ooh. and uh kicked her in the back uh, he's had his visa revoked and is now deported. He's out the country. He's got it on appeal with his lawyer um, requesting for clemency. Say, hey, you know, can you not make it a life ban? Make it a one or two year ban, whatever. And he's uh, given a public apology. Um, but I don't think they're going to give it. Uh, that is a huge insult to use your foot on somebody here in Thailand. Um, there are a couple festivals going on right now in Jomtien. Uh, you had the windsurfing festival Muay Thai, uh, championship. And yeah. now you got the Muay Thai championship coming up the 11th to the 15th of March. So uh, today's date is the 13th. So for uh, for another two days, you have the Muay Thai championship going on at Jump Tim Beach. And it's free for all to yeah. go and watch. It doesn't cost a penny. You can go and watch the Muay Thai championship. They were uh, setting so that up at the beach there. Uh, the the day by the other day. Yeah. yeah. So uh, that is going to be uh, great fun. Uh, and I might stop by. I do like to watch uh, Muay Thai. And let's start the show by seeing who else, who all we have online and give a shout out to everybody. There's uh, Jerry, Jerry Hart. Hello, Coop, Darlene, and Brooke. T-minus 49 <laughs> days. See you all soon. Looking forward to today's live stream. Yeah, 49, 49 days. 49 and counting. That's, that's not seven long. weeks. Yeah, that's yeah. not long at It'll all. Fly by. Wendy, good morning, tubers. Long time no see. Hope everyone is doing well. 
missing Thailand already. Hopefully we'll be back soon. Yeah, and they were out here just recently. Uh, met Wendy and her husband, Dennis. Very, very nice uh, people. And they seem to love Thailand. So the, they're hopefully going to be coming out back out here and later on this summer. And um, Wendy is into crypto and she's into microstrategy. So she should be Ooh. smiling from ear to ear because microstrategy <laughs> has jumped up 25% in the last week. Yeah. So MicroStrategy is doing great. Uh, for those Bitcoiners out there, it dropped a little bit, um, went down to 69, but now bounced back up to 71 as we are live here on the live stream. So um, the miners good. are dropping, but uh, the MicroStrategy is offsetting the miners. So it's it good is. to be diversified. It <laughs> is. So if you got MicroStrategy, well done. Yeah. Montana's Thailand retirement. Hello, everyone. Hope all is well, Mr. Montana. And hello, Montana. Thank you for coming on to today's live stream. Same. I'll be seeing you all soon. Good. Good. Yeah. A lot of people coming out this time of year. Mike Baker. Mikey the man. Hit the thumbs up, everyone. Yes, please. If you're watching the live stream, hit the thumbs up. Mike Stir. What's it do? It helped boost the channel so YouTube yeah. sends it out to more people. Black Ops. Morning, Cooper, Brooke, and Darlene. Good morning, Al. Thank you for joining us. Uh, we will see you tomorrow night at the um, quiz night. Quiz night. At Fraser's. At Fraser's. Yeah. All Every welcome. Yeah. Brett in Alaska. Morning, Cooper, Darlene, and Brooke. I was wondering about daylight savings. I uh, don't Alaska, have it here. Alaska gets it. Alaska gets daylight yeah, savings. Yeah, yeah we don't here in Thailand. We're close to the equator. So it stays the same time every year. You don't have to mess around and change your alarm clock and change your phone time or anything like that. So how it's watch. affected me is, you know, the market. Part. Yeah, the market's <laughs> open. Used to be at 930 at night our time, which, okay, you get used to that. Now I got to be there at 830. Yeah. You know, it's okay. But the problem. You got to get up an hour market there. closing <laughs> used to be at four in the morning. That's okay if I got to get up, have a coffee. Mm. But now it's three, and that's just a little too early. So. It is. It is. Yeah, you got to get used to it. Yeah, uh, at three thirty in the morning, the market's closed our time. Michael Santo, good morning. What time is the meet and greet at Fraser's this Friday? Um, it's not <laughs> this Friday. It is. I actually uh, do have information on that. I was going to put out a little bit later on the channel, but let me bring up my calendar. And Every Thursday, they got this quiz night at Fraser's. Yeah. So, you know, if you're available, you come out Thursday, you're going to see a bunch of subscribers there. Yeah. And uh, but when's, when's the next meet and greet? The next meet and greet is not this Friday, but next Friday on the 22nd. We are going to be posting it on the Facebook group later on today uh, because the tw uh, 29th, we're not going to be in uh, Jomtien. We're going to be in Bangkok for two days as we have a special event to go to there. Uh, so I'm not going to put it out what we're going to be doing because everybody else is going to want to copy our oh. channel and do the same. But <laughs> you will see it because we're going to be filming it. So, um, yeah. So it's going to be Friday the 22nd, uh, which is next Friday at 7 p.m. at Fraser's. It's going to be our meet and greet. 6 p.m. actually. Sorry, 6 p.m. 6 p.m. Stephen yeah. Funslow. Good morning, guys. Good, Good morning, Stephen. Stevie. Thanks for you coming on, brother. Miguel Leon. Hello, all. Hello, Miguel. Paul Cousins. Greetings, gents, from Bent in London, UK. <laughs> yeah, it's uh, funny all over the world. Six eh? hours difference between uh, Thailand and uh, London. I think now seven hours because okay. of daylight savings time. Jeff Holcomb, I arrive on April 10th. I'm looking forward to getting wet. <laughs> yeah, you will <laughs> you, get wet here. You will. And it's a great fun. It is great fun. Uh, don't think that it's, uh, you know, oh, I'm going to get soaking wet. I'm going to get all my clothes ruined. No, you're going to have great fun out here. And uh, everybody gets involved from um, two years old to 99 years old. So if you're out there, you're going to have a great blast. And uh, it's something to behold. It really is. Yeah. Good luck trying to avoid getting wet. It ain't going to yeah. happen. Les Brown, anyone know of a herb store with online presence? Uh, yes, they do have herb stores here. There are um, several in Patia. I don't know the name off the top of my head, but I do know they're out here. Several subscribers have been to them, and you're able to get your vitamins, uh, lactose-free milk. Uh, it's a health food store um, that also sells herbs. Yeah. The Dan's. Hello, guys. Missing Thailand already. Hope to be back by June or July. Yeah, that's not far away. June or July, only a couple of months. 
Wendy, very happy with micro strategies. Maybe we'll be able to afford long term care. <laughs> <laughs> You're doing very well. You've uh, tripled your money, so you must be very happy. Hang there, on Wendy. to that, Wendy. You'll definitely you'll be staying in the five star long term. Oh yeah, definitely. Stephen Funslow, only 33 more days before my Thai wife and I get to Pattaya from Melbourne, Australia. Wow, 33 more days. That's going to put them here uh, around about the middle of Song Kong. Yeah, yeah, yeah. will be here. Yeah, and the Bitcoin halving is coming up. Um, the Bitcoin halving is supposed to happen. Uh, 35 what? days, 37. Yeah, 35 to 37 two. days away, which puts you around about what, what date was it? Uh, Song Kong. <laughs> around about 17th yeah, exactly. of uh, right April. Middle. So uh, that's going to be uh, really good because it halves the amount of production of Bitcoin that are daily made production, yeah. daily for the next four years. And then it halves again. And of course, that normally drives the price up. So the supply is cut in half on a daily basis by the miners. So mm -hmm. currently it's at 900 coins per day being mined. Mm -hmm. And about 80% of those are sold on the market. Yeah, you know, 20% the miners hold on to and, you know, just hodl, they call it. So it drops from 900 to 450. Well, uh, that's a quite a drop it for is. the people wanting to buy, which are the ETFs and the Stock private exchange, people. Yeah. And, hey, they're sovereign, wa so sovereign wealth funds now looking, you know, I'm sure. sure it's going to go so. uh, uh, crazy. I think uh, the I price have, you'll see it uh, start to go nuts. Yeah. The poor man's passport guide. Hey, guys, the old man just woke up from his nap. <laughs> Who's he talking uh, about? Me? No, he's what talking about heck? him. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> Kirk Schuler, I'm about your age, Brooke. What health insurance company do you recommend? I've had great luck with, uh, well, first off, the agent's McCallum. McCallum. Yeah, yeah. and uh, it's Pacific Cross. So um, he, the thing with McCallum, they speak English fluently. Uh, they're the broker for 30 years, great guy, and uh, he's had his own medical issues and been covered, so obviously, you know, he, he recommends the companies that do that, and he's got a variety, so any condition you have, whether it's pre-existing or not, any age you have, uh, and any financial, you know, state you're in, he's got plans for everybody is what I've noticed, so yeah. you get to pick your deductible, you get to pick your limits, um, you know, even with pre-existing, they can insure you. So definitely a good company that I would recommend. Yeah. And with the pre-existing, what McCallum's does there, Kirk, is like me, I'm type two diabetic for the first year, they won't insure you for the pre-existing. Um, but the second year they will. So, um, that is a great, uh, opportunity for those that have pre-existing conditions. Medication is extremely cheap here, folks, in Thailand. Medication, I found, and I've done a lot of research on this. People have sent me emails throughout uh, the time that we've had our YouTube channel. I've gone, gone and physically checked at the local drugstore, and I found the prices, sent them back um, with the pictures via email, and said, this is what it cost here. And the amount of feedback I got was phenomenal. People were telling me, wow, Cooper, that is 80% cheaper than what yep. I'm paying in the West. Well, I, I get uh, 70 to 80% on average. A thyroid medicine and a, and a blood pressure, and they're both way cheaper here. Oh, I know. Yeah. My diabetic me medicine in the States would have cost me $600 a month. Here, it's only $100 a month for my diabetic yeah. medication. When you're coming here, though, guys, I would tell you, get, get, um, get some travel insurance in your home country mm -hmm. for your initial, whether it's, you know, two weeks stay yeah. or two months stay. I would max that out for your stay. And then, you know, if you're, you know, covered there, fine. You don't even have to worry here. But it does give you time if you're coming even permanently here to shop around. Yeah. You know, because you do have coverage. So that, that'd be a thing to do. And lastly, on this medical, hmm. I've, uh, you know, when I arrived here, I had ear infection. This is before I even got my insurance for Thailand. And I went into the hospital, you know, great specialists. They see you right away. And it was like 30 bucks. You know, I'd be waiting in Canada forever to see a specialist in the States. I'd be paying an arm and a leg for that. So now here's the thing. I went to the hospital uh, two weeks ago. I had a heart attack scare and I was in the hospital for almost 24 hours, Brooke. The whole cost of all the tests being an emergency. Now, emergency is the most expensive. We all know that uh, if anybody's done a trip to the emergency, it is the most expensive. 
it cost me under $150. Yep. Under $150 for the doctor care, for the nurse care, for uh, all the tests that they ran. And they ran like eight different tests on me and checked the blood work and all that, the heart scan, the blue dye to check and see if there's any blockage in the arteries or anything like that. They did all that and it came to under $150. You'd be thousands. In the now, state, so right? what I did with my medical insurance and to touch on this, Kirk, is both Brooke and I decided to get in-care only medical insurance because outpatient is so cheap. $150, I was in the hospital for almost 24 hours and went in at 10 o'clock at night. We were out of there by about three o'clock in the afternoon. But anyways, um, and they took me straight in. There was no waiting. I was straight into emergency. Yep. And all that for under $150. If you want to pay the premium and get out care and in care, it's not worth it because the premium is expensive for both. Just get only the in care patient yep. coverage because the out care is just so cheap. You had a motorbike accident. You went to the hospital. Um, I took you there. And what did you pay? Like a hundred bucks? And they did x rays and all that? Not even. It was under $100. Yeah, like I think I had two visits there. The first one obviously get me all, you know taped up and cleaned up and all that yeah. like three doctors check you out the nurses are all there they're great you know tender care and uh and then the second visit was a day later just to re redress everything again and rewrap and it, the whole thing was less than 100 for both visits wow and they and it's funny how they work here like you know that's itemized list on your bill and it's cheap you know yeah and uh, they give you a little bag when you leave with what you know, the tape they didn't use, and the meta, you know, whatever uh, spray they put on, they didn't use the whole bottle. And the get, iodine, they the the iodine. iodine too. Yeah. So you get that to take home, you know, which uh, hey, you know, I ended up using later myself. Yeah. So medical care, yeah. extremely cheap here in Thailand. Africa Islam, is this the expat rap battle? <laughs> you start it. You start it. <laughs> you and Ice T come on here, and we'll have a rap battle. Yeah, there you there go. You go. Chris Wheeler, my wife, the IT guru, tried to hit the thumbs up but couldn't figure it out. So I will. <laughs> the IT guru. Darlene is the IT guru Every on our, needs our a channel. Guru. Oh, yeah, she's fantastic. Cerebral aptitude. Once I get my retirement visa and I want to go see my family for over 90 days, how does the 90 day check in requirement work when I return to Thailand? Well, you want to handle that? Or? Yep, no problem there, uh, Cerebral. And the way it works is when you leave the country, that counts as a 90 day report. Okay. You can leave the country um, up until your uh, retirement visa expires. Okay. You got to be back like a week before it expires to renew it. Um, so when you come back in, that counts as another 90 day report. They report you out the country, they report you back in the country. So once you come back in, you then count 90 days from then, and that's when your next 90 day report is due at immigration. So it's very easy. Uh, as far as the reporting goes, uh, we go out the country quite regularly. My wife now in the Philippines, that counts Same with as a 90 day report. Jackie, yeah. uh, I've got to go to immigration the end of this month for my 90 day report because I last left, the, uh, came back into the country on the 4th of January from our honeymoon cruise ship. So uh, count 90 days from then. It's really, really easy. Uh, nothing to worry Each about. Each time you come in, it starts over for the 90 days. Yeah. So that's kind of nice. Aziz Baluk. Good morning, Coop, Brooke, and Darlene. Good morning, Aziz. Thank you for joining today's live stream. Any stress kit. Hello, Coop Troop. Hope all well. Sad not with my lovely bride down in South Jersey. Ah, he's at work. South <laughs> he's Jersey. At, yeah, he's probably at work. Uh, Dennis there, anti-stress kit. And his wife is chilling at home. Sorry so late. Just landed. Yeah. Kirk Schuler, fortunately, I'm in excellent health. My vitals are about what they were in my 20s. That's oh, great. That's, good. that's great. Good. I got a clean bill of health, too. They said my cholesterol Me three. <laughs> is um, to have normal cholesterol it should be under 200. Mine's right. at 205. It has nothing to worry about. You're you're literally only 2% over. Um, he said, just stay away from a little bit of fried food. And uh, it, it'll be uh, in the normal range. He says there's no need for medication or anything like that. Your cholesterol is uh, within acceptable parameters. So good news there. Stephen Funslow, Coops, you have heard how Greg from Pommy's Bar is going. I hope he is staying positive. Uh, he is, uh, Stephen. He's doing very well. I actually did a live stream with Greg um, last week. We did a live stream on um, Sunday at... Um, 
what was the name of the place uh, that we went to? It was the uh, Wombat, Wombat and Kiwi yeah. Bar. Wombat Kiwi Bar. And I did a live stream with him there. He's uh, in great spirits. And we actually went out on a motorbike ride. Me, you, yep. um, James. James, and Greg went out and... Uh, Three-hour drive. Uh, Three-hour drive on a motorbike. God, my and... butt was sore after that. <laughs> well, I don't have the big seat like you do, but You got a <laughs> tiny seat and a huge <laughs> butt, so <laughs> you got uh... sore butt syndrome. Um, um, I've got a big seat and it is just nice and comfortable. I, I had no problems whatsoever, but a beautiful drive through the country. Cerebral aptitude. Seven months ago when I was in Thailand, three dentists told me six to seven K USD for full dental implants. U.S. Or oral surgeon in U.S. told me 30,000. Yeah. Okay. What the heck? <laughs> yeah. So, I mean, you're going to find dental treatment. I a lot of people come out here for yes. dental treatment. Yes, they do. Now, Pat, he's one of our subscribers. Um, he came out a couple months ago for dental uh, treatment. I believe he's getting uh, five or six implants done. And um, he said he saved, you know, $30,000 compared to the West. Yeah. $30,000. And um, basically what they did is they cut his gums open. They put the metal in there. Okay. And um, told him he's got to wait two, three months for it to heal and accept it. it. You know, body doesn't reject it. And he's come back now. He's now back to get the teeth in. So they've recut the gums open yes. so they can uh, put the teeth in there. So he's got to just uh, wait for that. And I think he's going to be all done and dusted this month. Even the basic checkups and cleanings are cheap. As dirt oh, dirt. they are you super, know, compared super to cheap. the West anyways. Yeah, super, super cheap. Kirk Schuler, do you have contact info for McCollum? Um, He's got a website. He does have Google a website. Yeah. You can go uh, Google uh, McCollum Google search, and yep. Patia, and it'll come up with his website. That's on there. the way you see. I think it's MAC, Kirk, when yeah. you go to Google it. Yes, it is MAC. Any stress kit? JIC for my future. Does anyone have experience with men's health regarding PSA, MRIs, biopsies? Uh, Just in case. Um, MRIs, they do that. Well, I mean, well, they do the MRI. Uh, you can get a full medical here, um, Dennis. And we did, we got a full medical here for about $60. Yeah. And they did everything. They did the uh, MRI, they did the uh, CAT scan, they did blood the, work, chest x ray, blood work, stool work, urine work. Yeah. Uh, they checked all of it and it cost us 60 us dollars that's how cheap it is here i don't even think we had to make an to appointment 70. for that we just walked in we saw the special on some sort of advertising thing and it was jumpkin hospital yeah they said, i mean it's state-of-the-art hospital yeah they said you know? no problem just fast yeah. for eight hours and come back tomorrow there you go and uh we'll be happy to take care of you so uh very good um in regards to getting full body medicals out here Katie Wheeler, my husband is so sweet. No worries. <laughs> Hit the like I do all on Cooper videos. <laughs> Keep up the good work and great info. And thank you for that, Katie. Really appreciate it. He's got a sweet husband. Yeah. <laughs> the poor man's passport guide. What about teeth dentistry? I'm trying to wait till I get there in June. Yeah. yeah. Extremely cheap. Again, yeah. uh, less than 20% uh, cost of what it costs in the West. And uh, hang on. Um, got my wife here sending me another message. And you get quick service, and there's there's oodles and oodles of dentistry locations here. I mean, the, one of the streets, I forget the name, we drove down, and I was commenting to Coop. I said, Jesus, every third business is a dentist, you know what I mean? Which is good, because that's competition. Right? Yeah. So you can, you know, shop. Lots of dentists out here. Uh, and uh, my wife just gave me a reminder that I did actually have an MRI here in Thailand. It was because I had a back problem. Um, wanted to get it checked. They put me in that tunnel thing. And she says she can't recall how much it was, but it, it wasn't a lot of money. It wasn't a lot of money. It was uh, very, very cheap compared to the West. Blue to a sailor. In care would be the way I will go. Yeah. Yeah. In care. In care only. Um, if you want, if you're flush with money, go ahead and buy that uh, in an outpatient care. But the outpatient care is just so, so cheap here. It doesn't make financial sense to me because how often are you going to use the outpatient care? Uh, unless you've got chronic problems and you're going to use it a lot, um, I wouldn't get it. But if you're of normal um, 
health and you you know you don't have many problems it doesn't make sense to get it mccall i'm the owner you know and again He'll 30, explain that 30 you. years he says no nah, you don't need it you know what i mean yeah 99.9 percent .9 of the people don't bother w secrets to success blog hello guys still looking for a low-cost shipper that ships from the usa to thailand needing to ship a few mid to large size boxes brooke what's the magic answer <laughs> bitcoin <laughs> I don't know. Like, I mean, I did a quick search on that just to see about sending a parcel over, and I couldn't find any, you know, buddy that information. Well, I had but... W. Some of our subscribers have done it from the states. I don't know the name of the companies, but if you get onto the Facebook group at Maybe. Cooper's Thai yeah. Adventure Community, um, message in there, they will tell you which ones they found were the cheapest to ship uh, from the U.S. And everybody says the same thing. Sea freight is the cheap, cheapest way oh. to do it. It takes on average four to six weeks to get here from the U.S., depending on which side you live on, uh, east or west coast or central. And um, they say that's the cheapest. However, I don't know the name of the shipping companies, but you will find that on the Facebook group. It's real easy to join the group. Hit the thumbs up button. Subscribe to any one of our videos. Go to Cooper's Tie Adventure Community Facebook page. And it'll ask you four questions. The first question is, um, why do you want to join Cooper's Tide Ventures? Say, I am a subscriber. This is my YouTube name, so we can pair you to your Facebook name. A lot of time, people have YouTube names that are completely different to their Facebook name, and it makes it easy for us to identify who you are. And you're accepted into the group. There is live chat in there as well, W, so you can message people on live chat. Um, community chat and say, hey, I want to ship from the U.S. to uh, Thailand. What's the cheapest way to do it? And they'll answer because uh, quite a few people have done yeah, it. Yeah, there's well over a thousand members now on that. So just, you mm -hmm. know, post your question. Um, there's a good chance so somebody's already done it. And you always want it. someone who's yeah. blazed the trail so that you don't have to do it. You know, you, you can pick their brains. And uh, the other thing is maybe check even the, the YouTube channels to see if, you know, shipping, yeah. who knows, you know, this might yeah. be a video on it for yeah. someone. Yeah. Montana's Thailand retirement. Hi, Brooke. What do you think about XRP Ripple? What's your opinion? I don't dabble in the altcoins, uh, so I don't really want to comment. Um, you know, I stick strictly to Bitcoin and Bitcoin proxies. Well, I've noticed XRP is down right now. Is it okay? It no, is down, no, down over it. the last week. I know, listen, a lot of the people now, and there's a big FOMO over the altcoins. And, uh, you know, apparently, like, there's over 20,000 of these altcoins, and they figure maybe, you know, two, three, four of them in total, not percent, in total will make it. So good I'm luck not, choosing yeah, the right one on that. Yeah. We do know that Bitcoin will be here. So that's why I focus strictly on the Bitcoin. Yeah. Dennis L., what happens if you forget to check in for your 90 days? Okay, Dennis, here's what happens. Um, you have a grace period here in Thailand. You can check in for your 90 days up to two weeks before your 90 days. So you have a two-week window there, and then you have a one-week window after your 90 days. And um, if you forget all of it, you pay a fine. Okay. Um, I can't remember exactly what the fine was. It's. I think I want to guesstimate it was like $30.00. Uh, get plus or minus a bit there. But Mr. Singh did say the amount when I had him on the live stream with us, um, who's a fantastic immigration agent here. And I can't remember what the price it was for the fine. Um, but that's it. Uh, you don't get banned or anything like that from Thailand. Uh, you just pay the, the, the fine when you do eventually go in. And uh, that's all there is to it. Um, it's so easy. You can do it by yourself. Um, one thing you'll find, Dennis, when you come out here uh, to retire in Thailand is you're going to have that in your mind, you know, your 90 day report. And, you know, he's like, OK, you know, I got in the country in January, you know, 5th. I've got till, um, you know, March, the uh, sorry, April 5th to renew it. It's in and, your passport, too. So and they put a stamp. Yeah. If you're not sure, there's a piece of paper in your passport. It's a slip and it t tells you then. Uh, when you got to do your 90 day report and you know if you forget it by a day or two it's not really an issue you can still go in and renew it and they will not find you uh providing you do it within that three week window that happened to me yeah. um so you know monday to friday is the immigration yeah. you know on on site and, uh, jackie at 10 to 5 on a friday 
Oh, by the way, honey, uh, I have to check in today. What? <laughs> Why didn't you tell me that? This like morning? ten minutes yeah. before closing, yeah. and uh, so I I get on the phone immediately to sing because I'm in a bit of a panic. Like, what's going to happen now? Yeah. And he, oh, calm down, calm down. I'll meet you. And it, Monday was a holiday. That was the other thing. So I'm going to be like four days late now. Yeah. He says, I'll meet you there Tuesday. Don't worry. Anyways, Tuesday, he's in and out in two minutes, and and no fine. You no know, fine. No. Stamp. Yeah, away yeah. he goes. So great guy. Yeah. But what I do is I put a sticky on the fridge window. Okay on the fridge door. So I put a sticky there with my 90 day report date and mm -hmm. I put 90 day report. And every time I come in and out the condo, I always see the refrigerator. Every time I go in there to get a water or a drink, yeah, smart. I see it there and it's like, okay, I got to go next week for my 90 Keep day report. I just put a little sticky on the uh, refrigerator to remind me. Muhammad Thomas. Good day, gentlemen. 49 days until retirement. <laughs> Looking forward to getting out there mid-May. For Till retirement. Wow. Low season. Low season. excited. Yeah. You're going to save some money. You're coming right at the start yeah. of low season. Les Brown. Was that a public or private hospital? Uh, it is a um, public. Uh, no. Anyone can go. Yeah. Yeah. It's a. Uh, well, yeah. Anybody can go. Yeah. Anybody can anybody go. Anybody can go to Bangkok Hospital. Yeah. Well, public then, it's, I mean, Canada, you have public hospitals. It's free health care, but. You know, you do pay here, it's, you know, so it's open to anybody. It's open to anybody, yeah. Jacob Koretsky, he who has health has hope, and he who has hope has everything. <laughs> <laughs> Good motto there. <laughs> Chrissy, hey, Brooks, super cycle or continue the four-year cycle? I'm betting on super. So am I. Ditto. And he's yeah. referring to Bitcoin as a four-year having cycle yeah. and as its ups and its downs. But this one's going straight up. Okay. Well, the big change in this is the ETFs. Yeah. The ETF is what's driving the price right now for Bitcoin. And uh, a lot of the ETFs are going to be investing in it for private investors. Uh, they're going to be uh, looking at it for the 401k options. They're going to be looking at it for uh, retirement. Um, the state of Arizona just announced yeah. that uh, last week, that they're going to be um, allocating a certain percentage into uh, their portfolio. So absolutely great there. For, Stanford University for and these universities in the States, the big ones have huge endowments. Mm. Stanford announced that they're going to be allocating a percentage of their endowment to Bitcoin. Yeah. And so it's a hedge. And, uh, you know, just advice to anybody out there, um, you know, take a look at Bitcoin if you haven't already and uh, you want to protect your savings. Mm. This fiat money that we all work with is depreciating daily. It's like a melting ice cube in value. You all see that through the inflation numbers. Um, Bitcoin's the hedge against that is the bottom line. And the easiest way to think about that is what did $100 buy you at the grocery store to, uh, last week and what did it buy you 10 years ago? And that's how you know that fiat uh, currencies, yeah. US dollar, euro, yen, whatever, are shrinking and your costs are going up. So you, uh, 10 years ago, you'd probably be able to fill up two shopping baskets. Uh, now you're lucky if you fill up half of it, yep. uh, one shopping basket. What you're seeing happen now, uh, and it'll get announced in the next few months, countries are mm -hmm. buying Bitcoin, sovereign wealth funds, corporations. The ETFs, when they got approved, Coop, that allowed uh, companies who are you know listed on the public stock exchange, they couldn't even touch Bitcoin before that mm -hmm. because it wasn't regulated. Yeah. But now through the ETFs, they don't have to buy the Bitcoin, they just buy the ETFs. That's regulated through the SEC. So they're allowed to own it for their treasury assets. Yeah, and you can buy one share of Bitcoin for about $40, so 30 to $40. Yeah. So you don't have to buy a whole Bitcoin. You yeah. can buy a, you know, a $10 worth of Bitcoin. You yeah. can buy $100. Yeah, you can buy one say, share. People say to me, Bitcoin's too expensive. It's at yeah. 70000 I can't afford 70000 for Bitcoin. You don't have to. You can yeah. buy one share at $40, uh, $30, $40. Sure. Put that in, you know, once a month, whatever um, you can you can afford comfortably. Never go over what you can afford, of course, and uh, watch it add up over time. Yeah. You're going to be uh, pleasantly surprised. Africa Islam. I went to the Pattaya Hospital for a full checkup. Doctor said I have high blood pressure. I told my wife had my new credit. 
<laughs> I'm not to my wife I'm on the credit card. <laughs> That's why his blood pressure was up. And she was still out shopping. <laughs> Jerry Hard, I've been employing, or sorry, enjoying your videos with Sean. Does Sean represent rental properties in the Riviera development? Yes, he does. Yes, he does. He has um, several properties in several different Rivieras here. So, yeah, he's got his uh, his toe in quite a lot of the developments out here and quite a lot of the new ones that are coming up as well. Yeah, there's always new ones. I, you know, we met with Sean just the other day. And Yesterday. Said, yeah. Hey, keep us in tune for these uh, pre-builds, mm -hmm. you know. You can get some deals on that, I think. So, yeah, lots to look at. Muhammad Thomas, extremely nervous about the move. Uh, you will be, but when you get here, you'll say what everybody seems to say. Is I keep hearing the same thing over and over from our subscribers is, I wish I would have came here earlier. Earlier. I love it here. Yeah, I love it here. I wish I would have came earlier. And you know when they head back, if they have to, oh, I miss Thailand. You know what I mean? They can't wait to come back. So. And the, the thing is, Muhammad, when you get here, we got 170 subscribers now. It's gone up again. We got 170 subscribers that are living here in this area, and a uh, great way to make new friends. Yeah. So when you come here, uh, get yourself on the Facebook group before you get here. Uh, get talking to people uh, about some of the things that you like doing. Do you got any hobbies? Anything like that? You're gonna find people that have got similar hobbies as you. We got people that go out play golf. People that go out on country walks. People that go out bicycling at the lake. People that uh, go to quiz night Thursdays go at quiz nights, Thursday nights. <laughs> yep, absolutely right there. And then uh, all other uh, fun things. They've got chess tournaments every day at the mall. That like playing chess, checkers. Um, what's the one with the uh, the black and white? Uh, go. Um, the dominoes. They have dominoes tournaments and all that sort of fun out here. We got an indoor badminton court. You're going to find something that you like and you enjoy because there's just so many expats here. And you're going to have a great time. So uh, when you get here, come to one of our meet and greets that we have, Muhammad, and meet our, our regulars here. They all like to turn up for the meet and greet and meet the new people because they were new uh, when they came here first time. And uh, you're going to make a lot of new great friends. Promise. Andy Stress Kid, men's health question, prostate stuff specifically, if anyone has that experience. Uh, when you do the medical here, Dennis, you are going to have a prostate examination. And the way they do it, they don't do it like the West, okay? Uh, Thailand's technologies come a long way, and in a lot of ways, it surpassed the West. No more do you have to worry about an internal examination. What they do here is they check your stool. And they have all the latest technology there at their disposal to check it. And they can see if there's any sign of a problem. If there is, then they do an internal uh, investigation. If your stool comes out normal, there's no need. There's no need. Yeah. Fantastic. Absolutely fantastic. And I have had both cameras, you know, one uh, in the back and one down the throat. Uh, at the same time, checking um, for full medical I had while I was working for the uh, United States Army in Kuwait. And um, they put me to sleep for that. Hmm. So, yep. Maybe that's uh, put that question on the uh, Facebook group page, too. You know, a thousand members, like I say, over that. Yeah. Uh, you know, probably somebody's had some uh, comments to make on that. So, yeah. Bingo, get One more over a thousand of our subscribers yep. have joined the group. Kitty Wheeler, we are planning and super excited for our first trip in June. Any advice on travel from Bangkok to Pattaya? Uh, yeah, there are several ways you can do it, Katie. And um, again, Facebook group is a great information. Uh, some people prefer to get on the bus. There is a bus that goes from Bangkok Airport directly to um, Pattaya, Pattaya bus, station. bus Station or Jom Tien Bus Station. Uh, they have two. And Pattaya and Jom Tien are very close together. They're only two miles apart. That's yeah. it. Two miles apart from bus station to bus station. And then what they do is uh, once they get off the bus, they get a Bolt taxi to take them to their hotel or resort or condominium. And uh, what you want to do is whether you're on Android or you're on Apple, go to your app store, download an app called Bolt, B-O-L-T, B -O -L -T, okay? That is the equivalent of Uber in the West, but a heck of a lot cheaper. You can get a bolt from our condominium in Jom Tien all the way uh, to Terminal 21, uh, which is the other side of Patia, the far side of Patia, 
for three dollars yeah that's cheap. how cheap it is um so that is what a lot of ours do also you have taxis at the airport you go down to the basement level and they have taxis that can take you directly here you just pay the um taxi plus the toll fees on the toll road uh, not a lot the tolls are around about uh six dollars five six dollars for the tolls um, you can do that option or you can go to the vip desk at the airport and get a vip taxi an suv um, to take you here and we've done that several times and i think that was around about two thousand baht yeah we did that for seventy dollars yep. And uh, yeah, absolutely. A lot of great. bags for people. It was, yeah. Yeah. We're not so there. it was wise for us to do that and very comfortable. Uh, One thing, in Katie, that SUV. I would say being your first trip at the airport, get your SIM card, put into your phone. The and We recommend AIS. I would do what Coop did is get the unlimited internet, unlimited calling anywhere. It's, you know, it's the first one's going to run you probably 30 bucks uh, US. But hey, so what? You got a month of everything you need. Mm -hmm. And then you can right away download the apps and they'll get it working for you right at the airport, which is nice. So you walk out the door. Second thing you do, go to one of the ATMs, grab some buy. So, you know, you can buy yourself drinks or whatever you got some money on you. And then, uh, yeah, make your trip. Now, the buses, uh, they're, they're cheap. Like, I think the bus from the airport here is probably like four bucks. So, yeah. you know, you, you can offset that. But I think first time, you'll probably just grab one of the cabs and go right You will first time. Yeah. yeah. After you've been here uh, uh, one or two times, most people get the bus. Yep. Yeah. Wendy, I was on the Jumpkin Hospital, and there were packages, and their packages were expensive. For women's health checkup, gynecology, 800 U.S., and I'm searching wrong. Well, uh, yeah, you are yeah. searching wrong. Um, yes. Because the full gynecological check for women was 5,000 baht. Yeah. Okay. So that's $150. $150. I paid for that for my wife, which included the pap smear, uh, which I think is what you're referring to. And uh, that was $150 for the full uh, female checkup. I, you know, now we were here at low season. So possibly, Wendy, there's something to do with you know, prices going up during high season versus low season. So that might be an issue, but 800 still seems a little real high for what I've seen, ever seen. For, yeah, that for is that. high. Yeah. Uh, so, yeah, um, I think um, those prices were uh, very wrong. I was at Bank, uh, Jump Tian Hospital about three weeks ago, and the uh, prices were what I just said, 5,000 baht for a full uh, female checkup. 150 bucks. 150 so. US. Heath McDaniel, my last back MRI. My last back MRI was 250 after the insurance here in Tennessee. Okay. Yeah. And uh, I think I want to I want to say I paid about $120 was what comes to mind for the MRI check on my back. Mm. Yeah, because I've got nerve damage on my back, back there. Price. Half the price. Three so to do, gentlemen. Please, what is the best site to rent a condo or hotel for thirty days until I find what twelve month condo I want to rent? A uh, site. Um, there's a lot of websites out there, um, but here's the thing that you're going to find, Cerebral, and we found the same: is we went onto these websites, saw something that we liked, then went to the agent's office to find out that the places that they're putting up on, they don't have. The, there's no rooms available there. Yeah. And they try to take us to somewhere that we didn't want to go to. Remember that, Brooke? So um, websites, I don't trust so much because uh, they'll put, you know, a, a really nice one at an extremely affordable price. And then you go there and say, oh, no, that, that one's gone. But we do have this one and it's double the price that you want to pay. Yeah. So uh, I don't recommend websites. But what I can say to you is, uh, Sean, um, his, he has his own site and he shows exactly what he's got available at the time. Um, we do put his details on all the videos that we film with Sean. Um, we put his business card on there and you guys contact him direct. Nothing to do with us. You guys con him contact him direct. Uh, I'm not an agent, so I'm not allowed to get involved. All I do is I film the, uh, places out here and, um, Sean is in every almost all of our videos. A couple we couldn't make it on, uh, but we always put his card details on there because they belong to him. 
and you can contact them direct. Several of our subscribers have used them and everybody's come back with a glowing reference. So as long as that keeps happening, we'll keep using them. I would say Cerebro, you know, maybe look at like hotel sites, um, you know, Agoda, you can do bed and breakfast or, you know, the um, uh, Airbnb. short stay Airbnbs. And maybe you only do it for the first four days, seven days, whatever. And that'll give you enough time to kind of look around for a 30 day mm. stay, right? Now, if you're staying long term, 30 days is nice, which is what we did because yeah. that gave us, you know, we must have looked at 20, 30 different condos to so we figure found out. Right yeah. One. Yeah. I sure tell you, we knew after the first few days we weren't staying where we were. Yeah. You know? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Flew to sailor. I got the same two minor issues like Brooke. Blood pressure, meds, very little. Same here. And thyroid. Wow. Well, we're going to be. Now, the funny thing here, Bluto, my, um, so level thyroxin we have is what I'm on. You're probably, you know, Synthroid or the same as me. And uh, you can buy that over the counter here, which yeah. I found uh, interesting. Eh? And same with the blood pressure. So, sorry, with the level thyroxin, no, I couldn't do that over the counter. But the, definitely the blood pressure you can. So. I went to the doctor for both, got two prescriptions, and the one I find out later I can buy right at the pharmacy. So, And I was surprised at that, too. I can get my diabetic medication directly over the counter at the pharmacy. No yeah. prescri prescription is needed. Yeah. Most medication you can get here over the counter. Yeah. Fantastic. And so, you know, what I do is I, you know, I brought a blood pressure monitor with me from the West. So yeah. I'm able to actually check. So you know what I mean? Like he, the doctor initially, okay, yeah, you're a little bit high. Well, we don't have your from the West, but this will do. And okay, well, I got it. And then uh, I checked it myself because he wanted me to come back 30 days. Well, it worked. So I said, I called. And one good thing with the docs here, they'll call you. They call you before your appointment and say, hey, don't forget, you know, you got an appointment set up for tomorrow. Mm -hmm. And I said, well, listen, I've been checking my blood pressure. Everything's fine. Just, you know, you can go ahead and give that someone else that appointment or, you mm -hmm. know, cancel it. No problem. Yeah. No issues. Roy Go, do you still need to get a new TM30 at Jomtian Immigration when returning from abroad, even when you're staying at the same address in Jomtian? Yes, because you've left the country. So um, if you've gone out the country and you come back in, you need to update your TM30 to say that you are still at the same address. Very easy, straightforward. And you get that from the front desk at where we are here. And yeah. Dustin, Dustin gives that to us, right? Uh, yeah, I've had to go down to immigration when we changed from upstairs to downstairs when yeah. we moved. Um, so straightforward and easy. You just take it a... with you to immigration. Yeah. Okay, I got yeah. you. Yeah, took yeah. me 10 minutes in and out very quick and free. It's free to do. Jeffrey Robertson, I got my fangs done for an implant post, top and bottom, eight total, full top and bottom dentures. They drilled the eight holes for the eight posts and screwed them in and then went back three months ago to get fitted. Yeah. Yeah, that's uh, what uh, how quick the process is. It's not a. If you don't mind sharing, Jeffrey, what your total cost was, um, might be helpful for the, the crew. For, yeah. Did you get it done over? Oh, I think he says it later on. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Les Brown, is it worth to even get health insurance? Uh, yes, it is worth it. Um, what if you have a heart attack um, or you have a uh, serious medical condition? McCallum, who we use, um, he's got brain cancer. Okay. <clears throat> excuse me and he's with pacific cross he was diagnosed with brain cancer and they paid for all of his treatment everything and he spent quite a lot uh time in the hospital he had zero deductible it's in remission i think they paid yeah. nothing out of pocket they covered all of it and they initially gave him six months to live and that um, was years ago but that was like five it, years ago and more, he's still yeah. going strong fantastic guy so yeah it is um that it's recommended less um i would just add coop a lot of people don't like they self-insure here yeah you know a lot of them so it, you know to answer your question less everyone every situation is different obviously finances are involved um at my age 71 uh, i was uh about 3600 for the year i know coop was less but then again it's based, mine was. yeah based yeah. on age and that and I took a deductible, 40,000 bought deductible. So that's the first 1,200 bucks in a year I pay, mm -hmm. not per, you know, incident. But uh, everyone's different. So, you know, look at your financial things, get your quotes. If you're in very good health, you've never had issues. There's no family history of, say, heart attacks. 
you might uh, say, hey, I, I'm going to, you know, take the first visit and just take, you know, take a chance. But regardless, I'd still get some uh, travel insurance to get here. It gives you time then to shop and see what you, you know, decide. Yeah. Jeffrey Robertson cost me Australian 5760 in Oz, got quoted 45,000 Australian back home. Well, that's it cost him. Uh, yeah. So it cost him 5,760 Australian. Geez, that's uh, only like 3,000. And American. in Australia, he got quoted 45,000. Yeah. So look at that price difference. Wicked. Like, to get it here yeah. in Thailand, 5,760 Australian dollars, which is around about uh, sort of 3,600 US. Okay. Yeah. You know, it's 3,800 US, round about there. Uh, so under $4,000, and he was able to get eight teeth implants done and it would have cost him 45,000 yeah. 30,000 US dollars uh to get it done in Australia. So huge huge difference. Was that done in Jomkin Pattaya area, Jeffrey? Just maybe uh share that. Kirk Schuler, Ethereum is another safe and growing crypto. Yes, it's very popular next to Bitcoin. Yeah. And um the other one I've heard a lot of is Sol, Solana. But I don't again I don't no, recommend I, I, I don't stay, own them and I stay away from them. I stay truly and just Bitcoin only. Roy Goad, it's 2,000 baht fine for you for getting to do the 90 day report. Um, uh, I can't remember how much it was. I think Singh said it was about $1,000. Um, I'll get back with them. And, uh, but you, you could go back and watch the live stream we did with them. It was three weeks ago on our channel. Just uh, click on the live I streams think, and you, you'll go back uh, three weeks and you'll see the video we did. And he explains all the uh, costs. I think Coop involved. meant to say a thousand baht. Yeah, it was about dollars. Yeah. Um, you know, when Jack missed that day, so we were like four days late by the time the holiday was over, mm -hmm. there was no fine. Mm -hmm. You know, sing, now maybe, you know, Singh looked after it, I don't know. Roy Goad, I'm leaving Thailand the day after my next 90 day report. Would you bother to report? No, because it's within the week uh, leeway period. So I wouldn't bother to report because you have two weeks before to get it done and one week after the date. So you're good as gold. You can leave then and You'll you're not going to have any anyways. problems yeah. at the airport. They'll count it as a 90 day report. Cerebral aptitude. When I transfer using WISE from my Charles Schwab checking to Bangkok Bank, are we stuck with the lower conversion unless we use cash at, at uh, TT? TT Money Exchange. Oh, okay. Um, to bank so you're transferring from uh Charles Schwab to Wise, I take it, and then Wise to your Bangkok. You're, you know, you're going to get the good rate at, with Wise, mm. and it goes immediately into your Bangkok, so it's sitting there. Um, when they transfer using Wise from, my, yeah, okay, yep, no, don't worry about that, you'll get a good conversion with Wise, yeah. Aziz Balak, City of Miami Beach break up with spring breakers, college kids impose curfew and car parking restrictions. Yeah, I did see something about that on the news and uh, the spring breakers in Florida. Um, they're posing a lot of restrictions are coming down hard on it. And oh, yeah. uh, several to. people on social media are saying, don't come here for spring break anymore. No, no. they've ruined it. They've had problems <laughs> in the panhandle yeah. and just... Uh, Shoot, I, I went to spring break uh, in Fort Lauderdale in my college years. That was back in 1990. I went there well for spring break. That was a freshman in college. Aziz Balak, I hope it's not going to happen in Pattaya. No. <laughs> uh, the bars here are open. Uh, some of them close at 2. Some of them are open until 4. Mm. Roy Goad, isn't there only a certain amount of Bitcoin available? That's why it's more expensive than any other crypto. Correct, Amundo. Yeah, <laughs> twenty-one million Bitcoin can only ever be mined. Uh, Nineteen million, little over, is currently mined. That leaves another almost two million to go, uh, and that won't be exhausted. In other words, the final coin won't be mined till the year twenty-one forty, and that's kind of that's over a that, hundred years from now. Yeah, over a hundred yeah. years. So you know, don't worry about it. So. From 900 coins per day currently, and next month it drops to 450. Four years from now, it'll drop to 225 per day. Yeah. And that's and it. And the ETFs are buying on an average six to 7,000 coins. 8,000, 10,000 some yeah. days, Coop. Like it's yeah. ridiculous. So the supply available for sale is dropped dramatically yeah. since the ETFs came into effect. 
and uh, what do you think is going to happen the next 30 days? <laughs> um, and the reason is there's such a huge demand, mm. not only from private individuals like you guys watching uh, and us sitting here, but from companies, corporations now, from uh, governments, sovereign wealth funds. Mm -hmm. um, governments are mining coins. Oh, yeah. Yeah. They so are. So they... And just to do an update on the channel before we go through some more of the comments, Saturday, this coming Saturday at 8 p.m. Thai time, um, we are going to have Sean and another agent on the live stream. Will you be able to ask them all your questions? we got so many questions that have come through on all the videos that we've been making for the properties. And uh, I'm not the technical wizard. Uh, I'm not a real estate agent. So with all that, I said to Sean, we need to have you on the channel on a live stream to answer all these questions that I am not qualified to answer. So he's going to be on here this Saturday at 8 p.m. Thai time. So make sure you join that live stream. Will you be able to ask him and the uh, other agent that's going to be with him all your questions in regards to rentals, uh, be it houses, condos, uh, buying the process, all that. He's going to answer every one of your questions and he's going to be on here for two hours from 8 to 10 p.m. Thai time on Saturday. So make sure you come and join us for that. Robert MacMedia. Good morning, Cooper. Appreciate your great live streams. And thank you, Robert. Appreciate it, brother. Three of aptitude. After getting my motorbike in care, care plan on jet ski can you show one day how difficult easy it is for you to get yours in the water sir yeah um i store my jet ski uh cerebral at um a marina just down the road from us and uh, they have a tractor and they put it in the water for me and then when i get back to shore uh the tractor takes it out of the water for me so uh very easy and it costs me 1500 baht a month to store the jet ski so that's around about I want to say forty bucks, about 42 forty bucks. forty two dollars there a month at the current exchange rate. The exchange rate is just over thirty five baht to the dollar. So uh, yeah, that is what it costs. And for them to uh, put the jet ski in and out the water is um, is I want to say two hundred baht, three hundred baht. It's it's like about that. Yeah, it's it's uh, not a lot. It's like six dollars. So uh, they put it in the water and then retrieve it and park it back up. Uh, they do have washing facilities there. So I wash the jet ski myself. I use salt away. So it uh, ke keeps the salt uh, off the engine and keeps everything running tickety-boo. Fun. They're fun to have. Yeah. Roy Go, there's a regular exercise group <laughs> on the Donkton Beach every morning. Oh, yep, yeah, there are. Yeah, yeah. good to know. Jose Gonzalez, great information, guys. Keep up the good work. Thank you very much, Jose. I am, I am. Flights booked on multi-country itinerary. We'll be arriving in Thailand earlier than planned. What's <laughs> up with these extra flights during Songkran and when you think they'll be published? Okay, uh, there was an update on that in the news uh, just in the last 48 hours. Uh, there was a lot of arguing uh, amongst the Thais that the flights are just too expensive. So what they did is they decided, okay, we're going to lower the flights, uh, the price of the flights, Must be and they've Airways lowered it. That, yeah. They've lowered it twenty uh, percent, but but there's a catch. That's only for the flights in early morning and late evening. Late evening. The the uh, the busy part of the day, still same price. Yeah. So uh, if you want to do domestic flights inside Thailand. And you want to get that 20% savings, then get the early morning or the uh, late evening flights, uh, which they have several a day going from Bangkok to different cities uh, in Thailand. Morpheus, good day from New Zealand. Gentlemen, late to discussion. Hope everyone's doing well. Finally planning another visit to Thailand and May, attempting to avoid New Zealand winter. <laughs> And it'd be great to have you out here with us, Morpheus. Chris E., to anyone having concerns about finding a condo, just contact Sean. He took care of me within days. Thank you, Coop, for introducing him to your subs. And uh, you're very welcome. He did say that uh, he reached out to you and he's got you a place. And uh, well done. Well done. He's a fantastic agent. He will take care of you. And the good thing about Sean is um, when, he, when you use him to get uh, accommodation, it's not the end of his business with you. No. Um, if you have any problems, the air con problem, water problem, sewage problem, whatever, anything, you know, 
um, then you just call him and he'll take care of it. Great service. Away. Yep. Fantastic. Cerebral Aptitude, please remember when retiring in Thailand to demand your provider to unlock your phones. Yep. Before good point. you come. Yeah. Yep, you yep. Make sure that you get it unlocked. Now, if you buy a, a phone here a phone, through a phone store, yeah, and you're not doing it on contract, it's automatically unlocked. You can put any SIM in there. Bonus. But if you're buying it through Verizon or AT&T or any of the, uh, the ones out in America, it is locked because you got it through a contract. Yeah. Um, so you have to finalize the contract and then you have to pay a fee to get it unlocked. I know in the West, this is a true story. I, I bought a phone, had yeah. a contract. I think it was two year, whatever. Anyways, uh, I stayed with the company at the end of the two years, you know, and just paid monthly and no contract. And then I said, I'm switching. So I went to a different company. Well, they they hadn't unlocked my phone. Uh, the rascal. So even though your contract ex expired, they didn't go ahead and automatically unlock the phone. Mm. Um, I think in Canada, the government has now changed that. But uh, yeah, you might want to check that. So if you think your phone is unlocked, there's a way to check it, obviously. Uh, make sure that it is before you get here. Otherwise, it might be useless. Yeah. W, I, I can see why Arizona is looking for a new place to invest. Municipal pensions have now benefited the past five years due to the green ideas of divesting in carbon companies. Yeah. Yeah. They're looking for new ways to invest uh, yeah. to, so they can have money to pay out everybody's pensions. Robert MacMedia, I took the silver VIP limousine car, 2200 bot. To Pattaya in November, quick and easy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We've done that a couple of times now, haven't we? Yeah, yeah. That seems like, a, guys, that's only like sixty-six bucks, not even sixty bucks, probably. Yeah. So, and it's a two-hour drive. Yeah, so. it's pretty damn reasonable <laughs> compared to the West. <laughs> w Secrets to Success vlog, guys. I am a part of the face. I am part of the Facebook group. Uh, put out the question last week. Did a quick search on there. No magic answer. Okay. It appears there isn't any low cost shipping option like the Philippines. Not something we really get asked a lot. Um, I know you're obviously concerned, but I was looking at one time at shipping stuff here, and boy, I did come up with nothing after a bunch of research. So, you know, without, I mean, you could contact shipping companies, but, and I think I even made a couple phone calls, but the prices I was getting quoted, I said, geez, it's not worth me shipping the stuff I was interested in family portraits and you know they're bigger sizes so you know i couldn't do them on a carry-on yeah uh i do know one of our subscribers one of our female subscribers has done it i won't put her name out on the channel um so what i'll do uh w is i'll reach out to her and ask her which one she used um i do have you on whatsapp so i will message you on whatsapp once i speak to her later on today um i'll put a reminder on my phone to message her and I'll get back to you and tell you the shipping company that she used. So um, bear with me. Dennis L., can you do a video on, on now that you made it to Thailand? What do you do next? Um, sure. No problem. Yeah, can do all that. Stephen Funslow, in Australia, the employer pays 11% of your gross income into your superannuation fund, which is set up for your retirement. Bingo. Good to know. And yeah. superannuation, for those of you that are not on Australian, is the Australian equivalent of America's 401k. A pension. Yeah. Dennis L., is it okay to rinse your mouth out with shower water? I brush my teeth in the shower sometimes. Uh, yeah, you can rinse your mouth mouth out with a shower water. It's not a problem. Just don't swallow it. <laughs> so, yeah. Uh, yeah, not a problem. I brush my teeth uh, in the sink in the bathroom. And uh, no problem there uh, with the water. Just don't drink the water. It's not drinkable. It'll give you what we like to call deli belly. And um, that's enough said on that subject. I, Dennis, as far as I'm concerned, I don't do that in the shower. Just I'm a little leery about uh, water, you know, from really? what you read. Well, that's just me. It's the same water in the shower. It that probably is. is. <laughs> yep. And I know, you know, but, you know, I'm washing there. But uh I uh, I use Listerine as a gargle quite often, just mm. in case, you know. Mm. But anyways, it's me. Three so wrap to dude at Jeffrey Robertson. How were you able to eat three eat three months with teeth? Oh yeah, sorry. Oh, uh, what they do, cerebral, is uh, Pat, who's just had it done. They give you a plastic insert with teeth, and it looks just like natural teeth. You oh, can't tell okay. the difference. And um, you put that there, and you're able to eat no problem. During the period. So, during wow. the period okay. until it's healed. There's your answer. 
without, without teeth. teeth. Okay. Yeah. Les Brown, Brooke guesstimate on in-care insurance for a 70-year-old male with no comorbidities. Uh, in-care insurance. Well, mine, I'm not going to say double, but it's probably 50% more for that. Yeah, mine was 2,000. I think yours would have been three. Okay, so mine would have been double. But uh, again, they didn't recommend that. He says virtually no one uses that unless, you know, mm -hmm. they specifically figure they're, you know, they're going to need it, let's just say. But that would... That was for in-care only. I'm sorry. I, th I was thinking he was talking about... Right here. He's yeah. put in -care. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, well, then for a 70 year old, so, so you're talking what I've got, which is uh, around 3,000, a little yeah. over three, say. Um, but again, I had a deductible, and I think, and I've got five million. So I've got a five million coverage now, which is 150,000. Yeah. And he said that's plenty. You know, 10 million some guys go to, but you know, <laughs> he says they're throwing their money away, I guess. It typically, but uh, yeah, three million he recommended a minimum, and uh, obviously, there's one million peso or sorry, one million bot uh, policies as well. But uh, mm. I would say for a 70 year old in good shape, you're gonna run anywhere from 2,500 with a higher deductible to you know, 4,000 maybe with zero deductible. And I did look at all those, but mm. you know, yeah. And the good thing, Les, is you don't have to pay it in full, okay. They have payment plans where you can pay it uh, annually. Well, you'll get a discount if you can pay it in full. And then uh, biannually, quarterly, and monthly. So uh, those are the options that are available to you. So you don't have to worry about spending uh, $3,000 at 70 years old cash up front. If you can afford that, you're going to get a 10% discount. Now, um, if you want to pay it monthly, you can pay it monthly, and uh, it's going to run you about $250 a month. Yep. For that. Just doing the basic math in my head. Might be a little out either side. Get easy. I've noticed the hospitals at times run promotions for the health checkups. Maybe May, June, low season. Exactly, Jay Easy. Um, that other person, the lady, I think, with the $800. Wendy? Yeah you want to look for those with the promotion because that's what we actually got when we got here we yeah. saw that flyer eh? yeah. it was a good deal and i don't think it was half price but it was pretty damn good deal oh it's fantastic and it was low season montana's thailand retirement how's the weather in jonkin lately absolutely beautiful it's averaging about 33 degrees a day and you know you're yeah. we're so acclimated now to it we don't notice it mm -hmm. um the mornings are great they're cooler uh, great for walking in that. We don't get a heck of a lot of rain. Um, and uh, the evenings are great. In oh, the they... middle of the day, it's it's sunny out and hot. But, you know, if you're on your scooter, man, it, you don't even notice it. And if you're out for a short walk, it feels great. Yeah. Since I am, I am. Travel insurance is a must, especially on the other side of the globe. Yeah. Recommended. Absolutely agree. Jay Easy. Hello, brother at RMAC. Muhammad Thomas, what's your guys' opinions with investors with a not so large sum of Indy? Keep investing in Bitcoin or work the ETFs to build your account up. Well, if you're investing in Bitcoin for self storage or sorry, self uh, you know holding, um, then that's you know that's the recommended one. Most people don't want to get involved. I don't want to get involved with self storage, so I go through the ETFs and the proxies. Let's say the miners. Um, I would say you're pretty safe with the ETF. Uh, just buy it and hold it. And if you can put it into a tax-free account, um, I think it's, it's IRA in the, uh, or what's the U.S. one, the tax-free? Uh, IRA, yeah. Uh, yeah. So in so. and Canada, it's TFSA. Those are the ones because, number one, you want to hold it long term. You know you're going to get a fantastic gain in that. And it's going to be tax free in those accounts. So that's what if you're getting into Bitcoin to try and make a quick buck, a uh, short uh, term, uh, probably you're going to lose money. Um, what you'll find is those that have bought into Bitcoin and they hold the coin for four years always come out on a profit. Yeah. Always. If you check any of the last four years and people that have held it for four years come out on a profit. I put a money amount of money in my ETF, which is Fidelity. That's the one I chose. And I put that in with the mind, I'm going to leave it there for four years because the Bitcoin is volatile. It'll jump up, you know, 10,000, then it'll come down eight, 9,000. 
So um, if you buy it on a high and then, you know, next month it's on a low, um, you're going to panic and you're going to sell it and you're going to lose money. That's how people lose money in Bitcoin. Um, but if you put it in, you leave it and you say, OK, I don't need this money right now. I'm good. I, I can leave it for four years, whatever. 10 percent of your savings, whatever you want to do, um, leave it there for four years. You will um always double your money. So that's a, a good way to invest in Bitcoin. Whenever you hear there's an all time high, hmm. no one's ever lost money if they've held. Yeah. Street Raptitude, happy nervous. Once I get my central air replaced and one of the bathrooms house will be on market and I am there. Oh my God, what am I doing? Oh yeah, I'm doing my new life. <laughs> yeah, and you're doing the good life and coming over yeah. and retiring. You'll be like a kid again when you get here. Yeah. Any stress kids, smash that like button. Yeah, Make thank Darlene you. smile. Yeah, Come she on. is moderating in the Philippines as we speak. So uh, thank you uh, for that. Please hit the thumbs up if you're watching. And uh, W Secret to Success sends a $4.99 super thanks and says thank you. Uh, thank you, sir. And uh, glad we can help you. Really appreciate it. And uh, Cerebral Aptitude sends a $5 super thanks and says I've called immigration on Brooke. Because he slipped and said peso. Sorry to see how you go, K. <laughs> Did you Philippines say ain't going back? <laughs> nope, not going back to uh, Philippines. We love it here in Thailand. It's got everything that we're looking for. Uh, the Music Sanctuary. Good day, Coop, Brooke, and Darlene. Greetings from Edmonton, Alberta. I hope all is well your way. And it is. Yep. And thank you for coming Edmonton, on. Edmonton, Alberta still would be cold. Oh, it's going to be very I'm cold sure. there. Michael Rebecca, good morning, good afternoon, good evening from Montana. Can you get health care after 70 years old? Thank you for what you do. Absolutely. You can. And some of them cut off health care at 80, 80, 85. But here's the thing, uh, Michael. We found that with um, Pacific Cross, they will not cut off your health care at 80 or 85. What they do is they will insure you up until the day you die. 99 years old, no problem. They will insure you. Uh, and if you get in before you're um, 85, they will insure you up until the day you die. Fantastic. They won't cut you off. Yep. Like uh, some insurance companies do out there. McCallum has policies for everyone. Like yeah. they, They're like a broker, so they shop all the companies. Some companies will cut you off at 85. Mm -hmm. Others will give you a lifetime to 100, whatever. So there's something for everybody when you're shopping like that. Yeah. And Not that's why worry. I chose Pacific Cross. It'll cover me. Brett in Alaska. Dumb question. I watch all these beach walk videos. Are there plenty of public bathrooms? Yes. Uh, opposite the beach, there are public bathrooms that... Um, you can go to the, there. There's multiple coffee shops there that you can go in and uh, use their bathroom. And there are some pay ones that you, uh, yeah, you five or in. ten baht, so it's cheap, but thirty you know, cents, and you can yeah. use the toilet. Yeah. yeah, and I mean, I've been at Amazon and used theirs. There's no charge. Yeah, you know? yeah. Just go into Amazon, use theirs. We we've done it on several times, and there's several restaurants and yeah, caps. restaurants have them. So yeah, you yeah. won't have. You're not got a shortage of bathrooms there, Brett. Chris E, in full disclosure, I am a flaming heterosexual, but you two are the most handsome men on YouTube. Jesus <laughs> God, Christ. I think you need new glasses. Get, yeah, get that guy an eye doctor. <laughs> <laughs> My wife called me, Mr. Oh, man. Guapo, that's handsome in Philippines, right? He says, honey, you need to get your eyes checked. Your wife calls you Guapo. Mine says, hey, you. <laughs> uh, next, please. Okay, Robert MacMedia, J. Easy. Hello, brother. Marpius, a number of banks in New Zealand and Oz no longer allow investments into crypto. Is this a problem in your experience? My Bitcoin bags are already packed, but worried about those still trying to get a start. You um, know. Well, we've got uh, James. He's yeah. from Australia. He's able to buy crypto in Australia, but they do limit the amount that you can spend on it. I think he said there's a maximum of like $30,000 a day or uh, somewhere a uh, crazy amount uh, that they uh, allow you to buy into crypto Morpheus. And he's a New Zealand citizen who uh, um, has a house in Australia yeah, and uh, a bank in Australia. And he's, he's able to do it. Um, the good news is for England. Okay. Uh, England is going to allow ETNs, 
which is another like way of ETFs, uh, but uh, buying into it through an ETN. Um, and from what they're saying, they're going to uh, allow applications for them coming in starting in May. So late to join the party, but at least it's a start for them to join the party. And it's funny, a lot of these uh, jurisdictions that uh, weren't necessarily backing crypto or Bitcoin specifically, mm -hmm. Oh, well, now all of a sudden they've seen how the ETFs in the States have taken off. Yeah. Now they want to maybe get into it. So, yeah, you're seeing England start to look into it, which mm -hmm. they didn't have. You couldn't even buy a, a Bitcoin or do a product in England. Well, heavens, that's a big area. And so. a lot of people are now starting to allow it. For example, yeah. Morgan Stanley, yep. CEO of Morgan Stanley, was on the news in the last 24 hours and said, we're going to allow um, those that want to buy Bitcoin, buy Bitcoin. Yeah, and exactly. they were completely against it a month ago. So, uh, great news for uh, Morgan Stanley holders. Van Vanguard, you know, they were the one that didn't get into the ETF business. Mm -hmm. um, since that the decision, the uh, CEO has exited the company. Okay, yeah, I got a new don't work for the company you anymore. Watch, they'll be getting into it. And it just came out that they ended up buying a huge amount of one of the Bitcoin miners. So they won't let their customers buy, but they can. Because they you know want to I mean? make money. And yeah. they're going to make you know, all the yeah. fuckers, say eh? It's a rigged game, it seems. Morpheus, my current NFA advice to family and friends who cannot directly access crypto is to invest in shares of Bitcoin miners and ETF to get around banks refusal to allow direct access. Yeah. That's your next best alternative. Yeah, the ETFs. That's what I got into. <clears throat> now, personally... Um, any of them are good. So you got your miners, mm -hmm. you got MicroStrategy, which is kind of a pure play, a leverage play. The miners are a leverage play. And then your ETFs are direct correlated to Bitcoin one for one. So yeah. that's kind of how that shakes out. So you were up to do it. You kings are always honest. Be honest again. Have you ever flushed TP? That's no, TP? toilet paper. Oh, toilet paper. Nope. I, we don't hear in uh, Thailand and Asia, it's um, you'll block up the sewage really fast. Um, that's why they have the bum guns. Okay. We call them here, the bum guns and they are better than toilet paper. Okay. Uh, you use that. It cleans you like you just got out the shower. And, uh, a lot of men are a bit nervous and, you know, like, hang on, I ain't putting nothing there. You know, that's a no go area for me. Um, but when you go to the shower, of course you wash yourself back there. So it's the same as taking a shower, but you're doing it on the toilet and you clean yourself with that and you use the toilet paper to dry yourself. There's no marks on the toilet paper whatsoever. That bum gun does a fabulous job. I swear by it. And you're just putting wet toilet paper into the trash can. You're not putting dirty toilet paper on there, you know, with poop. Uh, sorry to put that out there. But um, yes, that is what you're doing. You're not cleaning your butt with toilet paper. And then putting that in the trash can, you're going to smell out the whole damn place. Use the bum gun, clean yourself, use the toilet paper to dry yourself, put that in the trash can. I have flushed toilet paper. Have you? Heavens, yeah. I never Here in Thailand. In Thailand, in Philippines, and why? I never knew that was, it wasn't was supposed to be done. <laughs> it's a big sign there on reception downstairs where it says, do in not Thai? flush toilet paper. In Thai, yeah. <laughs> Once you become aware, yeah. I can't get used to the bum gun. Sad. Okay. You will do when you get here. Yeah, and you'll you swear by it. Um, we went on a cruise ship, my wife and I, for our honeymoon in December. That was my wife's biggest complaint. No bum gun. Yeah. So I'm... she'd go number two and then rush into the shower to clean herself because she couldn't get used to using toilet paper to clean it. Coming from the West, we never <laughs> heard of these things. Yeah. And yet, living here, they've never heard of them without them. Yeah. Chrissy, I knew I, I can make, make you laugh. laugh. Both hands, both hands of <coughs> YouTube. <laughs> you did. Ray Watt. Morning, guys from New Zealand. Ray Watt here. Jen and I arrive at the evening of April 27th. Uh, love the content, Cooper. You make it all too easy. Looking forward to catching up at one of the meets. And you will. Uh, we have uh, meet and greets once a month. So uh, it'd be great to meet uh, you and Jen, Ray. Michael Rabicki, I have a ring with ivory in it is it legal in thailand ivory hmm, that's a good question i don't honestly know uh, michael i would look on thailand's website to find out um but if i don't a think small amount a, and a ring I don't yeah think i don't think you'd have a problem but boy you wouldn't want to bring over some statues i would think and yeah ivory, uh, <clears throat> yeah, yeah. Muhammad thomas so could a conservative budget of 2.5k a month be reasonable 
for a two bedroom uh, and living expenses. Oh yes, um, two point five k. Is it referring to U.S. dollars? Yes. yes. Okay, uh, for a two bedroom condo and living expenses. Yeah, you're going to run about uh, seven fifty of that per month, roughly, uh, for the condo. Um, so that leaves you quite a bit left over for living expenses. And, yeah. Uh, yeah. They'll have 1500 to electrics probably going to run you, you know, another hundred. So, you know, it's still reasonable. That's a, that's a good budget. Yeah. Very good budget. Yep. Uh, we're doing it on just under 2000. Yeah. Same month. here. Yeah. For a two bedroom and, uh, expenses. Gary Hart, if I arrive with 60 days of travel insurance, will that give me enough time to get a Pacific Cross plan in effect if I meet with them shortly after I arrive? Yeah. 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 So that's uh, plenty of that's time. the plan of getting the medical insurance prior to coming. Gives you time to shop. And basically, once um, I think depending on your age condition, they might make you do a, a physical checkup here. Um, and once that's uh, they've got the results, which is usually quick. Oh, yeah. You're covered. You yeah. know, make the payment. You're covered. The poor man's passport guy. Do you wear hats in direct sunlight? Um, I don't. Um, I do. You wear your Bitcoin hats. I don't wear a hat. Um, even though I got a big bold spot coming up here. Uh, but I just try and stay out of direct sunlight. Um, if I'm going to the beach, I'll sit under one of the umbrellas. Yeah. Or under a tree for some shade. Um if I'm going out and about, I got my helmet on when I'm driving the motorbike or I'm in the pickup truck or you're in a bot bus, you got cover over your head. Um, and uh, when it's hot days, find somewhere with air con, cool down. Yeah. And drink um, plenty of water. Stay hydrated. Yeah, definitely. And, you know, when I drive a scooter, so you got your helmet on your head. So, you know, mm -hmm. and, and the winds, so you don't notice it. Actually, the sun does feel kind of nice on you. Mm -hmm. But you go to the beach, which I like doing. Boy, I'm under one of the umbrellas. Yeah. And, uh, I don't use chemicals on my body. So, um, you know, I try to avoid direct sunlight for too long. Mm. But, you know, 10 minutes a day is actually healthy for you, really healthy. Build up that vitamin D, I think it is. Sun Hyun, Coop, I know you live there full time without any ties home base to the U.S. Do you still do your Social Security Medicare in the States in case something major happens and you need to come back home? Nope. No, nope, I don't do uh, medical care uh, anymore. I'm on full disability, um, which I get right now. And then I also have VA, uh, so for my time in the Army. Um, so, and my insurance here uh, is, like Brooke said, 5 million bot. If you um, had brain surgery, for example, which is the most expensive surgery in all of Thailand, and you had to have brain surgery, that's going to run about 2 million baht. So you're going to be 3 million baht over the most expensive. Uh, so 5 million baht is the maximum you really want to get here. They sell policies up to 20 million baht if you want it, but you're not going to need it. 5 million, I think, is more than enough, double the amount that you would actually need. And we use that as like a safety egg. Um, so there, I have no plans of ever going back to the state, son. So there's no need for me to keep up my Medicare. I'm more than happy with the insurance that I have here. I'm paying $2,000 a year and uh, worry-free. And that covers me for $5 million. Um, Stop thinking about the cost of medical in the States because Thailand is like 90% cheaper for medical. Uh, medication, 80%, 70 to 80% cheaper. Uh, outpatient care is like 95% cheaper. Uh, you go to emergency room in the States and you don't have insurance, your, your starting bill just to walk in the door is $10,000 plus. Here, you can. Get, I had all that treatment done for under $150. It's a no-brainer uh, for me. And um, why keep on paying uh, for uh, Medicare in the States when I don't need to through my Social Security? I'm never going back. Folks, that's me done with the states. I know this is where I'm I'm going to live the remainder of my life, and I'm going to die here. When I die, I told Darlene, cremate me, do whatever you want with the ashes. You want to keep them and put them on the mantle, no problem, or you want to throw them in the ocean. I'd be more than happy with that because I've been scuba diving for the last 30 years, and I love it. Uh, that would be me at peace in the ocean with the fish. Um, so... Those are um, things that I've done myself. Now, you may be in a different kettle of fish. You may turn around and say, 
I don't know if I want to go back to the States for a medical emergency and want to keep it on your uh, social security payments for your Medicare. That's entirely up to you, brother. But um, when you make that permanent decision and you say, I'm not going back to the States, this is my home. Of course, I may go back for a visit if my mom ends up in hospital, my brother. Yeah, I'm going to be on the first flight over there to go see him. You know, of course I would do that, you know, for my family. But um, other than that, I have no intention of going back. And if I do go back, it's only going to be for a short amount of time uh, to pay my respects to those that may have died. If there's a funeral in the family or something like that, or somebody's in the hospital, uh, that would be the only time I would go back to the States. Uh, other than that, this is permanent for me and where I'm going to stay. Being from Canada, um, you know, I've had experience with both healthcare systems. Mm. Um, including the Philippines. So there's three, actually the States two, four. Mm. But uh, Thailand's medical system here is, in my opinion, way ahead of Canada's. It's state-of-the-art equipment, mm -hmm. uh, fantastic care, customer care. Um, so, you know, no waiting times and uh, what a difference from here to, say, Canada. Now, Philippines, of all the four, would be the least progressive that I've, you know, encountered. But... Uh, and lastly, when you come here, you know, if you have your travel insurance, you got time to shop. Every one of these plans we speak of can be paid monthly. Mm -hmm. You know, so it could be $150 a month, could be $250, $300. It all depends on your budget and your needs. So mm -hmm. you can do that. Or as Coop said, save, you know, 10% if you pay up front. So, yeah. Wendy, bye, guys. Thanks for the live. God bless. God and bless, take care, Wendy. Wendy. Thank you for coming on. Be easy. Once you go bum gun, you won't go back. <laughs> Chris Wheeler, Cerebral Aptitude. We need a bum gun usage video. I'll be there in June, so I'll practice at the car wash until then. <laughs> nope, but not going to make gun that. video. What do you think, Coop? You want a bum gun video? <laughs> no, no, I'll lose all my subscribers overnight. Cerebral yeah. <laughs> Aptitude, Chris Wheeler. No, sir. Oh, Lord, please go. <laughs> Stephen Funslow, when Song Krong is on, would it be a great idea to put your wallet and mobile phone in a plastic reuse resealable bag to protect it against water damage? Absolutely. Yeah, but uh, one thing you'll find here, Stephen, is most phones, including my iPhone that I've got here, uh, are waterproof. Um, I've actually dropped my phone in the swimming pool, and you know, which is like five feet deep. I took it out. I th I thought you know I'd have to turn it off quick and everything Throwing else a bag of rice yeah nothing and it still worked absolutely great you know and that was five feet of water so uh you're only going to get splashes on you uh up to you if you got an older phone that's not waterproof you might want to get one of those uh neck string that's ones what i with saw the bag a lot and a ziploc at the yeah. top yeah uh, to keep it dry and kept their money dry and yeah. any paperwork they were carrying yeah yeah i i do i do put my wallet in there because i don't want my money yeah. to get wet so, um, yeah, great idea for you, Stephen. Cerebral Aptitude, at Sun Hyun, I will opt out of the U.S. Plan B for 175 mm -hmm. bucks. Trust that the medical care is world-class in Thailand. Yeah, it is world-class. And really, 175 geez, you, you almost get a plan for that here. And I do agree with you, Brooke, 100%. The medical uh, care here is far superior to the West. I've got to put it out there. It's far superior than England, most of Europe, and all of Definitely America. Canada. And Canada. Um, I've got subscribers in Australia, England, and Canada, and America. They're telling me they go to emergency. They're waiting five hours before they can even see a doctor. Same in Canada. Here in Thailand, I went to emergency. So did you. You were seen immediately. immediately. Yep. No waiting whatsoever. You walked in. What's the problem? Brooke said, I just had a motorbike accident. Come with us. No rushing. I walked in the hospital and uh, they said, what's the problem? My wife turned around and said, suspected heart attack. No, phew, straight into emergency. Doctor was there in seconds, you know. Uh, so fantastic was service a here. A pulled muscle, wasn't it? <laughs> so you're still in good shape. Pulled chest muscle, yeah. There you go. Music Sanctuary. Brooke, as a Canadian healthcare coverage does not cover there, what is it like for you to get coverage there? Does age, health condition apply? Is there a cutoff age? Okay. Um, so there is a cutoff age depending on the company and plan. Mm -hmm. You know, as Coop says, you can get them up to age 100 or lifetime even. So, you know, typically around 80, 85 for a lot of them. But, you know, nice thing with McCallum, and he even said that, 
because you were concerned about that. Mm. Uh, well, don't worry, you know, that we can cover anybody at any time. So, you know, depends what you're looking for. Um, health condition. Okay, so you're talking about likely pre pre-existing conditions. Mm -hmm. They, they uh, can be covered. You want to get full disclosure. The, you know, don't hide anything. You don't need to hide anything. They got plans for everybody. So you give them a full disclosure. And uh, if they say, well, fine, as Coop said, hey, we can't cover you for the first year on that pre-existing. But if you don't have trouble with that pre-existing, we'll cover you from then on. So that's great news. And mm -hmm. uh, lastly, uh, I don't know about you, but I had to do a, a physical checkup prior to approval, probably because of my age at 70. Um, and that's fine. So you, they, they might have you do that. And that's good. So that's on there. And uh, do, 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 does age, so an age, yeah, they cover any age you want. So not to worry. And no cutoff, really. Yeah. If you go with Pacific Cross, they'll cover you up until the yeah. day you die. Now, we, that's why I chose that one. Because my medical science, Brooke, has come a long way over yes. the last 20 years. Okay. Um, the medication and the, the technology, they can keep you alive much longer than before. Yeah. People are now, the average age for men has now moved to 86 years old. Yeah. 86 average age. You know, my grandmother died a week before her 100th birthday. Bingo. Yeah. You know, so there's a good chance I could live well into my 80s and possibly even to my 90s. Well, let's hope I so. want to make sure I've got coverage. You know, so that's why I went for Pacific Cross. There are other ones out there. I can't put their name on uh, YouTube. Um, because if I put their name out, they can sue me for liable. And that brings me onto a story that happened in the news this week. There was somebody that stayed in Phuket. And um, he'd stayed at a resort hotel. And basically, he gave it a bad review, okay, on one of the uh, booking.com <laughs> sites, you know. And uh, again, I can't say which one that is on YouTube. He gave it a bad review. And well, the they have a defamation law here yeah. in Thailand. And because he put down the staff and said X, Y, and Z about the staff, um, he got in big trouble. You know, they were really going to deport him out of the country. And he had to give a public apology and take off his review from the website. Um, you can say what you want about the place. You just can't put down the staff because of defamation. Yeah. So um, he had to take that review off. If not, he was going to face deportation. And that's why um, when we made the videos of what happened here at our condominium, I couldn't put out the name of the person responsible. I couldn't put out their job title or anything else in the video because I could have got sued for defamation and deported from the country. Very strict laws here. Uh, if you're a media um, and you have a license, a media license, yes, you can put that out. But as a YouTuber, no, you can't. Careful. So you got to be very, very careful there. Morpheus, have to get back to work, lads, but appreciate the chance to chew the fat. Love it all. Cannot wait to get back to Thailand for a visit. And see you soon. Thank you for coming on. Les Brown and his band of renowned. Do I have to carry toilet paper for the public toilets? Uh, what we do is we either carry wet wipes um, or, you know, you can get the little packs of wet wipes in 7-Eleven. And you can get the hand tissues, I call them. The public and, yeah. toilets I've seen have bum guns. Yeah, they all have bum yeah, guns, so, which is great. Know, yeah. But you're going to want to dry yourself off. I suppose. So, yeah, um, yeah you uh, do carry uh, those in our pockets. Les Brown, do they have bum guns? Yeah, yeah they yeah. do. Roy Goad, unfortunately, my Apple Watch wasn't waterproof after I paid 4000 baht to repair it. Okay, Walker's if it's not waterproof, bucks. don't take it out Whoa. there. It's on ground. Yeah. <laughs> Is my advice. Yeah. Expired password, bro. Hey, Cooper, your man broke is an absolute genius. He says that on every he single is a video. Smart guy. I knew it. <laughs> <laughs> we yeah. try. Yeah. Ray Watt, you can wait all day at emergency in New Zealand. The entire Western world is on a slide. Inflation is through the roof as well. Oh, boy. Yeah. Yeah. So protect yourself, guys. The Buddy Show in Thailand. Good morning, gentlemen. Good morning, Buddy, and thank you for joining the live stream. Uh, the next meet and greet, because you asked what it was, I've already announced earlier in the video, but I'll repeat it. It is next Friday, which is the 22nd of um, March at Fraser's at 6 p.m. is the next meet and greet. Michael Rabicki, the way I understand it, medical care from the USA covers only in the U.S., and that's it. That is true. So you would have to fly back to the U.S. to get treatment. Uh, and that's what he was referring to, Michael. 
whether you would keep up the premiums on it. Steve Sun. Hi, good evening. Good evening, Steve. We're about to sign off. Uh, we've been on here for about an hour and 36 minutes. Got a couple questions left. And then Marty Scarborough. Hi, guys. Just got on to see you in like 43 days. Oh, he's coming to see us. Yeah. Cooper, Sean got us set up with your new place in the heiress. So thanks for the help. That's the one we were, you, you just videoed the other day. Yeah, it yeah. is. So congratulations nice on that, Marty. Nice Very nice place. place. Yeah. You're going to love it there. And a few subscribers there. Oh, yeah. We've yeah. got uh, there. four subscribers Liz there. there. Yeah. 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 The Music Sanctuary. Thank you, Brooke. You answered my healthcare questions. Being in Canada, you get used to everything given to your coverage wise. So, cost and preconditions concern me. <laughs> what? Like, so in Canada, I would go to, I'd have to make an appointment with my doctor. Okay. Mm -hmm. And that's going to be three weeks to a month and a half out with their books solid. Sometimes you can't get a doctor if you move, <laughs> right? And then, uh, okay, we're going to send you to a specialist. There's another three months. <laughs> <laughs> like here, I, I need that ear specialist, right? That yeah. time, they're there. Hey, I mean, sure, I wait in the the. You know, they check you in. You go up to the floor. The guy's there. He's with a patient. You'll be five minutes. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, like, hello. Fantastic. Can't beat that. And like thirty bucks out the door. Everyone understand the medical or cer cerebral here. Everyone understand that medical plan A, Medicare, is free inpatient mm -hmm. plan b is outpatient 175 a month us dollars why would you sign up for part b people listen to brooke and coop even with their bad english <laughs> <laughs> uh, we've come time my on. english is just great <laughs> yours anything english is canadian <laughs> hey? Hey? <laughs> jerry art does a Pacific Cross plan cover you during travel in other neighboring countries. Yes. Yes. Around Asia. It covers us everywhere around Asia, which is absolutely brilliant. You can get add-ons for uh, Europe, Asia, or Thailand only up to you. But our coverage that we got covers us around Asia. So while we were on the cruise, we're completely covered. Fantastic. <clears throat> it's funny. Every option was excluding us yeah so you could get the world excluding us and i think singapore that was another expensive place yeah but it coops right you can get just asia which most people do that's yeah. all you need if you're sticking around the area and then you can get world excluding us and you know yeah yeah oh bro did we do uh no no yeah, okay sorry yeah we did yeah okay Three Rob dude, single man homeowner. I paid two hundred eighty three dollars for one week's of basic groceries here in the U S. So, oh wow. wow! I don't. I spend that in a month here. You could rent a five star condo here for that in a month, right? Like, yes. well, well, that's what we had at the one bedroom exactly. for that price here. Yeah, yeah. For what he's paying on a one week in groceries, you might in the be, find hard to pay that for a month here. Yeah, for groceries, man. Wow. Uh, expired password, bro. Bitcoin portfolio is up to 18k thanks brooke you know i've been pumping that for what three months now mm -hmm. and you know it's funny guys i don't know how many out there but i know of a fact of at least five people took my advice every one of them is smiling some of them oh are... james can't thank you enough no <laughs> yeah he's very happy and so is wendy See where you have to do. Good night, Kings. Mad love you. <laughs> Thank you for that cerebral. I'm looking forward to see you later on this year, brother. And the final one goes out to expired passport, bro. Uh, wise card in my possession arrived in three days. There you Good. go. Great. Yeah. And that is it. We are at the end of the question segment. So thank you very much for joining Cooper and uh, Mr. Brooke Schneider for our live stream. Next Saturday's live stream is going to be with Mr. Sean and another agent. And they are going to give you all the information that you want and all the questions that you've been asking that I can't answer. So therefore, I haven't answered any of them uh, because we're going to have him on the live stream on Saturday. And that is your opportunity to ask. People have been asking, how much is home insurance out there? I have no idea. I don't own a home here, but Sean can tell you all of that. Uh, people have been asking about um, theft and everything else for insurances, um, costs for, uh, you know, community costs. If you buy a house or something like that and you're in a gated community, he's going to answer all those questions for you guys on Saturday's live stream. So make sure you join us eight o'clock our time. And in Saturday, so it's going to be one hour later for you than normal. 
And for those that came on here and made it here on our live stream at the usual time, well done <laughs> for setting your uh, clocks accordingly and coming on and joining our live stream. So thank you for that. Answering the last few uh, comments, uh, anti-stress kit, do, uh, do you all have a handle on cost of eyeglasses with exam and or including contact lenses? Uh, we're going to be including that in an upcoming video, so stay tuned for that. No spoiler alerts. Ray Watt says, thanks, boys. And thank you, Ray. I appreciate it. Black Ops says, see you tomorrow. So yes. I'll <laughs> see you guys tomorrow. Thank you all from Cooper and Mr. Schneider. Until next Saturday, God bless you all. Thank Stay you. tuned.